The Decred DEX is a new type of exchange that allows for trustless, peer-to-peer -peer trading using atomic swap technology. DEX trades settle with pure four transaction atomic swaps and nothing else. Because DEX collects no trading fees, there's no intermediary token and no fee transactions. Trades are performed directly between users through on-chain contracts with no actual reliance on the DEX. The DEX simply matches trading parties, communicates atomic swap details, and facilitates price discovery. The DCR DEX does not have any know your customer requirements. Not even an email is needed to begin trading. Furthermore, you never lose custody of your own coins and keep them in your own wallets at all times. The DEX's epoch-based matching algorithm ensures that the order book action you see is real and not an army of bots. In this tutorial, I'll walk you through how to get set up and start executing trades on the DEX. To begin, you'll need to download and install Decred's graphical wallet to Crediton, which you can find on Decred.org. Upon setup, select the Disable SPV option. SPV mode is currently in the experimental phase for the DEX and is still undergoing testing. Now, let the blockchain fully sync. This may take a few hours depending on your internet connection and hard drive speed. Once you have your wallet configured, click on the DEX tab on the left hand side. Click on Enable DEX and then click to restart your wallet. Once the wallet is restarted, click on the DEX tab again. Here you will set your DEX password. The password may be the same as the one you use for your normal wallet or something unique. If you have used the DEX before and have a DEX seed to recover, you can enter it here. Click set DEX passphrase and enter your chosen password. Now you'll need to confirm your DEX account seed. Click to reveal the seed and safely save it. This seed can be used to restore your DEX accounts and native wallets should you ever lose access to the machine you are using. When you have saved your seed, click I have copied the DEX account seed. Now you can create your DEX account. Click create DEX account and enter your password and set an account name. Now you will connect your wallets to the DEX. To connect the Bitcoin wallet, click use DEX native BTC. Click connect DCR wallet and enter your original wallet passphrase and then the DEX passphrase. Before you launch the DEX, make sure to read the welcome text so you understand the differences compared to a normal centralized exchange. The most important thing to note is that trades settle on-chain and require block confirmations. Trades do not settle instantly. In some cases, they may take hours to settle. The client software should not be shut down until you are absolutely certain that your trades have settled. The client has to stay connected for the full duration of trade settlement. With these differences in mind, click Launch DEX window. You will be prompted to enter your DEX passphrase. Select a DEX server, as of now there is just one. Although trading fees are not collected, the DEX does require a one-time registration fee to be paid on-chain to prevent bad behavior. Now select how you will pay your registration fee. You can pay in Decred or Bitcoin. I'm going to pay in Decred. The registration fee is 0.1 DCR. You'll need to send slightly more than that in order to cover the network fees. Sending 0.11 DCR to the given deposit address will be sufficient. Click on register to finalize the fee payment. The transaction will need two block confirmations before we can start trading. While we wait, let's get our Bitcoin node and wallet set up. Click on wallets in the top right. Click create a Bitcoin wallet. Enter your DEX password and click create. We'll need to let the Bitcoin node fully sync. This should take around 30 minutes, depending on your internet connection and hard drive speed. You can check the progress by hovering your mouse over the icon next to ready. While it may be frustrating having to wait for the sync to complete, remember that running your own Decred and Bitcoin nodes and wallets is what makes trading on the DCR DEX a truly trustless process. Once it's finished, you can click deposit to generate a Bitcoin address for your wallet to send in Bitcoin. Once you've received your Bitcoin, click on markets. Like on a normal exchange, you can create your own buy order, you can market buy, or you can select a sell order. The DEX does not charge trading fees, but users pay on-chain transaction fees for the assets they are buying and selling. Transaction fees vary based on how orders are matched. With this in mind, it is important to have enough of the asset in your wallet to account for these fees when executing a trade. The trade will not begin if you do not have enough funds. Now I'm going to select a sell order of 0.001416 Bitcoin per DCR. To ensure that on-chain transaction fees do not eat a significant portion of the order quantity, orders have a specified minimum lot size. The minimum lot size as of this tutorial is 40 Decred per trade. This will change in future DEX releases, but it was initially set at 40 DCR to keep fees below 1%.
I'll select place order to buy DCR. I'll confirm the order and enter my DEX password. My order has been placed, matched, and filled. The user interface now shows that my Bitcoin is locked. Now I just have to wait for the atomic swaps to settle on chain. This usually takes around 30 minutes, but can vary depending on the matching and how busy the Bitcoin and Decred networks are. Once the status is executed, the atomic swaps have settled and the trade is complete. I can check the atomic swaps and look at the on-chain fees I paid. For this swap, I only paid about 68 cents in Bitcoin and less than one cent in DCR. Looking back at Decrediton, I now have 40 Decred in my wallet. I was able to go from zero DCR to 40, utilizing peer-to-peer -peer atomic swap technology with no KYC requirements and no fees paid to the DEX. Looking forward, thanks to approved proposals on Decred's governance platform Politea, DEX developers are consistently working on updating and improving the DCR DEX in various areas like privacy, security, and decentralization. The Decred DEX will soon support other projects like Ethereum, including stablecoins plus other ERC20 tokens, and other projects like Zcash and Dogecoin. Litecoin is already supported, however there is currently no server and market for it yet. Since the DEX is open source, any project is free to integrate their own coins. The DCR DEX does not gatekeep other cryptocurrency projects. The DCR DEX has proven to be critical infrastructure for the Decred project as it allows anyone to buy and sell Decred in a trustless, secure, and permissionless fashion without having to give up custody of their coins or adhere to privacy-invasive KYC requirements. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. To learn more about the DEX, check out dex.decred.org and github.com slash decred slash dcrdex. You can also reach DEX developers on chat.decred.org. Decred is secure, adaptable, sustainable. Learn more at decred.org.